Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ashes 2063. Uh, we're finally in a town, another town. Um, last time I did have a bit of an interruption, so the episode ended early, but should have not that problem today. Jesus Christ, Scab, you scared the crap out of me. I nearly shot you. What were you doing back there? Is this a circle? Yep. Welcome to Square Terminus. I still don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> uh, although people around here just call it the last stop. That's what Terminus means. Uh, Jesus Christ, it's coming down outside, huh? All that thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Did you come through the subway? I'm looking for Riggs. Is he here? Riggs? Yeah, he owns a shop in the, on the east side past the fighting pit. Ooh. Uh, behind the carriages. Just look for the biggest tent. Okay. Does anyone else come through here? What do you have to do? What do you have to do here? Oh. I'm from the wall. I came through the tunnels. I, I, I'm from the wall. I came through the tunnels. You're from the wall? Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> I'll have to let the merchants know it's safe again. I just hope nothing follows you up here. Well, it's not really safe, but you can get through now. Uh, do you get attacked often? I, can I ask someone something else? Oh, can I ask you something else? Uh, do you get attacked often? Not from this side, but the main doors, yeah. Mutants every few weeks, but we have snipers on the roof and lay explosive traps when we see them coming. That fucks them up. Hell yeah. Uh, do they not see the traps? Oh, I'm sure they do. They just don't care. They just run straight through them and like <laughs> they always do. A very smart bunch, are they? Not the smartest bunch, are they? What is it, scavenger? Uh, does anyone else come through here? Nobody, not for months. We thought this entrance was a dead end. We heard some fighting in the tunnels, though. Sounded like a massacre. Hell yeah, it was, boy. Up top, huh? High five? No? Okay. Uh, good thing we keep this gate watched. Why are you guarding this gate? I watch this gate for any nasty... Tries to come up here through the tunnels. So far, it's been quiet for months. Most of it's been sealed off. Why did you seal off the tunnel? We didn't. The soldiers who came through here did. They didn't want anyone following them. I guess we still watch the gate. We still watch the gate, just in case. Soldiers. Yeah, a few a few years back, a general and a couple of dozen men, although. If he's a real general, I'll eat my beret. <laughs> They're the ones who sealed the tunnels. Don't ask me why. Where did they go? No idea. They stayed here for a week or so and then went into the city. Haven't seen them since. I need to get to the city. I wouldn't, brother. Storm just rolled in. The whole place has been swinging with radiated dust. Swimming in with radiated dust. Uh, the scav teams haven't made it back. Scav teams? Yeah, but they knew the risks. <laughs> Once a storm blows in, you're as good as dead. You should wait here until it blows over in a few days. I can't wait. I need to get there. Well, we won't stop you, but we'll close the doors when you leave. You'll be on your own. I can't risk my people. I ask you something else. Uh, what do you have to do here? Well, you're from the wall? Damn, that's crazy. I hit the wrong fucking button. I did indeed. Let me ask you something else. Uh, what do you have to do here? Well, we have a bar, but who doesn't? Uh, we also have a fighting pit of the no on the north side. Pretty decent market. Talk to Riggs or the bartender if you need work. Oh, and ignore the thugs. They won't bother you. Okay. Uh, so you got a game problem? It's not really a problem. They all follow the code. Most of the problems come from outside. 
So we need extra guns. So we need the extra guns. What is the code? All the gangs fight, steal, and rob. Oh, I couldn't fucking read that word. Uh, they're a law unto themselves, but there's our, there are rules. They leave the farms and the doctors alone. They keep any fights outside of the town. Lone travelers or outcasts are fair game. Then why wouldn't they fuck with me? And you think this works? Most of the time, yeah, actually. If one gang were to start causing too much trouble, that could hurt everyone. So the other gang bosses would all band together and wipe out the troublemakers. It's happened before. Interesting. Um, have you heard of strange broadcasts over the radio? Sure did. It's bouncing all over frequencies. Over all frequencies. Oh, it's bouncing over all frequencies. But it's shortwave, so it ha must have come from the city, no doubt about it. What do you... Why do you say that? Only place I know to still be able to broadcast is a spire. That tall tower a couple blocks away. I don't have time to check it out, though. Hmm, I need to get there. I wouldn't bother. Storm just rolled in. So, yeah, 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 scav teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask you something else? I think you're good. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. You got anything to say? Yeah, we have a gang problem. Everywhere does. So what? Okay. Cool. Nothing there. I want to definitely check out this fighting pit. That sounds rad as hell. But I also want this money. I do have tons of cash, so I'm probably, if I find a vendor who's selling bullets, I'm gonna stock up, like, to full. All right, we got a bar here. Hello, Miss Bartender. You look lost, Junker. This your first time? Are you the bartender? No, I'm just standing on the side of the bar where the drinks are free. <laughs> I'd like to buy something. And I'd like your money, and so let's like a deal. Great. What do you have? Liquor and water is 10, unless you like the pre-war stuff. Food is 30. Fighting with regulars is free. <laughs> but please do it outside. I'm pretty hungry. I'll take that for 30. Excellent. Here you go. Emerald flower pie with a side of dried pork and a glass of fresh milk. Enjoy. Holy shit. Hey, this is pretty good. What's the emerald flower? Well, that's just a fancy name we have for the glowing fluorescent green mushrooms. Don't worry. It's perfectly safe. You might get a light show the next time you're in the toilet. <laughs> okay. Forget I asked. I'll be back when I've finished. Well, I still have other stuff. What do you like to do for fun around here? Have you heard about the place they call the Spire? You know what? Let's leave that off and let's keep exploring. Bunch of trash. Oh, yep. There's the emerald flowers. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. No wonder it's so cheap. Anything in there? No? You look like a shady character. Head into the city? This is the last stop. Make sure you got everything you need. Or do you just need a little chemical relief? What do you sell? Oh, I got anything you need, friend. Poppers, buzzers, jelly, sleepers, uppers, downers. Got anything with a bit more kick? Looking for something to give you an edge? You need a regen stem. 250 bucks. I also have a purge stem for 200. Or how you feel about a brute stem? I am probably not going to take any of these. Have a good day. I'm looking for ammo, sir. You've got guns. Are you a dealer? Gun seller. What do you have to sell? Guns and ammo. Bread and butter of modern society. Give a man a bullet, he'll feed himself for a day. Give a man a gun, 
<laughs> it'll, it'll make him a king. That's funny. Right, so what do you have? No problem, pal. You need weapon or ammunition? What weapons do you sell? You went in hunting? Gotta look at these heavy slug rifle that will drop a mutie with one shot from 300 paces. 200 chips and throw in a scope. I absolutely steal, friend. 200 for a rifle? Fuck, yeah. Done deal. Alright, well, I've got that one now. Show me what you have again. What weapons do you sell? Did you make this? Eh, mostly. Why? Uh, okay, Riggs did most of the spring and st springs and stuff, but all the carvings and ropes and polish and shit. All me, baby. Uh, tell me what you sell again. I need ammo. Uh, sure, just tell me what you're carrying. I sell packs of slugs for 140, shotgun shells for 80, and 45 for 30. So I am going to take three. Show me what you have again, ammo. Three. I don't need... I'll take the... How much for 140? One shell for a hundred and forty bucks. Okay. Well, I'm pretty stocked up on stuff, so I am going to keep. I'm just gonna keep buying ammo. I'm gonna keep buying the revolver ammo. Oops. I hit the wrong button. There's some crazy girl on the radio, man. I wonder who she is. Maybe she's one of those popsicle girls sleeping through the years waking up all alone in need of rescue you've actually heard her speak well <laughs> no but from what the gate captain said the sounds she sounds like a babe some of the other scavengers went over to the spire to see if they were, if she was there no idea if they made it why do you think they went to the spire it's a radio station where else could she be uh, too bad it's crawling with man-eaters. Oh, well. At the more left. All the more left for us, eh? Let's see what you have. I need ammo. I need revolver. Show me what you have. Ammo, revolver. Show me what you have. Ammo, revolver. Show me what you have. Ammo, revolver. Um, yeah, I'll just put dump it all into revolver. Fuck it. And then I don't have enough to buy anything else, right? Yeah, 80 for shotgun slugs. Never mind. Cool. Well, thank you, friend. Stocked up on ammo. Uh,. Hey, can I help you? Are you Riggs? Smiley sent me. I don't know what you sell. I don't know what you sell here. Uh, Riggs, Smiley sent me. Ah, so you're the courier. Yeah, I said... Yeah, he said you'd be coming. How did you find us? I thought the route was blocked. I haven't seen Smiley in ages. He's still an asshole? It's a long story. Here's your package. Uh, he's still an asshole. What do you know about Smiley? Nah, I'll just give him the package. Keys in the code opens the very little, then locks it again. He wasn't kidding. Pretty good stuff in here. You're welcome now about my payment. Uh, what was in it? Oh, that's our little secret friend. Just a few things from way back when. You could call a controller of sorts. Call me a controller of sorts. A collector of sorts. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> and with the route through the subway clear now, well, if that's settled, there's a little matter of, matter of payment. He stares at you. Excuse me? You want me to pay you? Don't you already give me money? Didn't he already give you money? No, I didn't come all this way for free. He said you would pay me from the rest for this. His eyebrows raise and realization dawns. 
Why, that smiley no good son of a bitch. He said that? He told you? He told me you were working for him? Not some freelancer. I did it because he said he'd pay me. You'd pay if you wanted to keep that briefcase. Looks down at the package in his hands. God damn it. Who does he think I am? Some fucking weapons dealer? I don't have anything to give you without the parts I need. Maybe I should just take the briefcase back. No, no, look, we can look something out. How about I give you something for your time and we'll call it even? Yeah? Blame well, Smiley, not me, okay? I can be persuaded. What do you have? I have a suit of metal armor I've been working on. It's not pretty, but it should do the trick. I don't think the original buyer's coming back anytime soon. Okay, anything else? Um, I could just give you a big backpack full of ammo instead. Oh, you son of a bitch. Whatever I can find, sorry. Without weapon parts, I can't make anything special. Which do you prefer? You actually make weapons? That was not the right fucking key. Uh, three. When I have all the parts, I'm a little gu a little gunsmithing. I know a little gunsmithing. Uh, mostly I just do repairs or modifications, zeroing sightings and such. Okay, just curious. Think you can work anything of mine? Uh, let's go two. Well, let's have a look here. You show him your equipment. Eventually, he picks up your machine pistol. Whoa, where'd you get this old thing? Sort of just lying around. Yeah, it looks... Hmm. He looks over his shelves. You know, I have a suppressor somewhere around here that would be a good fit on this. What would that do? Well, apart from masking the sound of your shots, makes it a lot easier to control from full auto. Yeah, I'm sure I have it somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I... Looks like your stock is jammed shut as well. Uh, you knew you could pull this out, right? That would help a ton as well. Okay. Look, there's a rusted... <laughs> look, there's rust on the bolt as well. Wouldn't hurt to clean this every now and then. The magazine catch is all burred up. Uh-huh. I could clean all this shit off for you here. Off here and here. Get rid of that stupid strap on the bottom. It's basically falling off anyway. Alright, I get the idea. Can you do it or not? Huh? Oh yeah, give me a minute. You find this fucking thing and take some your machine pistol over on the bench. Oh, give me a minute to find this fucking thing. Okay. Wait. After a while, he hands you back your new weapon. There you go. Had to get a bit of creative. Had to be a bit creative with the barrel threads were all stripped to shit. Uh, new paint job as well, free of charge. Thanks, buddy. I'll go try this out. Well, that's that settled. We square. Come back if you need anything. I might just have a little job for you. All right, see you later. Oh, excuse me. Actually, do you have a job? Came to buy something. What are you working on? I came to buy something. Uh, I'm selling gas containers that will fit on a flamethrower for $300. Uh, I'm also selling some 9mm rounds for 120 a pack. Sorry, I wish I had more time. Or I wish I had more. I don't know why I said time. Um, maybe later. What are you working on? Mentioned you had some work for me? I want you to check out something. Heard the broadcast? The numbers lady. The numbers lady? Jeez. Started a few days ago, all the guards were talking about it. Do you know where it came from? That's the thing. From somewhere inside the city. But that's impossible since the war pretty much... Since the war, pretty much every transmitter we've found have been fried. Only the most basic sets still work. 
Okay, so what do you think? I think it's an old automated system. So no one knows, so no one on the other end. But that kind of equipment, after all this time, could be worth, well, it would be priceless. I need someone to find it. Right. Any leads? My guess is the spy or the big tower, just north on the st of the station. But it could be anywhere. A bunch of scavengers up, went up there. And probably anyone in the area who has a working receiver. Uh, your resourceful smiley told me. I think you could find it. I'll go there as soon as I'm finished in town. Oh, not so fast. Have you heard that that storm? Stay inside until it blows over, man. Uh, with all that radioactive dust in the air, you'll be cooked in minutes. If I don't go now, someone else will beat me to it. Not happening. You need anything? What are you working on? This old rifle's one of the, for the guards. Mechanism was shot. Happens sometimes, especially with these glorified zip guns. <laughs> Just need a new le lever spring, and it should be good to go. Besides bullet slashing, thinks you. Oh, I'm thinking 308, dude. Cartridges are actually hand loaded, but I guess they'd be the equivalent to 10 gauge shotgun shells. Oh, really? The fuck? Uh, just a little longer. We've had to tool the right barrel ourselves. Okay. Um, wow, know where we can. I can buy one of those? It's actually handmade here here in this subway. The guy next to the tent along the sells them. I'll only do the tricky bits. I'll check that out later. So the guy in the next tent along sells them. Oh, I guess that's the one I got then. I guess that's the one I bought. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, this guy, huh? Looks like it. Okay, cool. That seems like an exit. Over here. Who are you? Organizer. Batting or watching? What? <laughs> the fight, it's about to start. Are you betting or watching? Fight? What kind of fight? Watching, I guess. Okay, I'll place a bet. Who am I betting on? Uh, watching, I guess? You're lost, pal. Go on, then. Oh, it's muties. Mutants versus the dog. Maybe I can talk to these guys and they'll give me a hint. That fighting pit is fucking rigged. I never win anything. Okay. An armed society is a polite society. Make our own rules down here. Damn straight, buddy. Armed society is a yeah, yeah. How about you? This place isn't so bad apart from the smell and the cold and the food. Okay. What do you want, Scav? You know what? Fuck it. I'll bet on the mutie. Oh. I guess I can't anymore. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, is there anyone else? Hmm. Oh yeah, the bartender I needed to talk to again. Uh... So what's a nice girl like you doing in a bad place like this? No. Um... What's fun to do around here? She's gonna talk about the pit, probably. Uh... Apart from my wonderful establishment, you, you mean? Well, there's always the market if you need guns, ammo, or pre-war garbage. 
Riggs, our local repair guy, is a shop near there. He's a real sweetheart. That's all on the east side. Where do you get all your food and guns and electricity? Uh, we grow our own food down here. Animal fat or wood gas for fuel. There are a couple other towns in the subway. Mostly everything... Most everything else we make or the scavengers find it in the city. It's a great big clearance sale up there. <laughs> I bet. Uh, sounds great. Can I ask you something else? I bet. What else is there here? Uh, if you're interested in watching half-crazed animals tear each other apart, you could always see, go see the pit fights. Or you could just stay here and watch, <laughs> watch with me at closing time. If you bring popcorn. Um, sounds interesting. Anything else? Are there any subtle? Are there other settlements nearby? Huh? Oh yeah, sure. There's a couple of them. Small outer stations on the subway. Uh, one not far from here actually, and you've got the wall, obviously. But we've lost contact with a lot of them. It happens. Yeah, so carry on. Actually, I want to ask you something else. Uh, duh, duh, duh. have you heard? Have you heard about a place called the Spire? You mean the big radio station? Oh yeah, they're looking for some girl on the radio station. Uh, it's not from the station actually. If you see it in the entrance, you can see it from the entrance. Oh well. Has anyone been up there? Excuse me. Uh, not as far as I know. Maybe a few years ago, but since then the freaks have... Uh, have near enough taken over the whole district. I'll be surprised if anything is still intact up there, especially radio equipment. So you've heard her speak? Not many people actually have. Um, I haven't, but everyone is talking about it. Started a couple days ago, but you'll, you'll lucky if you, you'll be lucky if you catch her. Her signal seems to hijack different stations. Guess I'll have to go see it for myself. I wouldn't go out there now with that storm. But I know what you junkers are like. So if you do, you know, just take care, yeah? You managed to find the place. You could probably do well here. I will, thanks. Can I buy something? Have you heard? That's for fun. What's a, you know, what is a nice girl like you doing down here? Oh shit, I hit the wrong button again. Uh, four. Well, you see, I was going to open a strip club, but the gate captain said that it would be too classy for a town like this. So I guess a bar will have to do. You built this bar? Touche. Can I ask you something else? Uh, you built this bar? If you're talking about an actual bar? No, this is... This was here. This was all here when all the people left. I just gave it a new lick of paint and wasn't... It wasn't actually mine. It wasn't always mine, actually. I took over from the old manager. How'd you get this place? Uh, I know this is cliche, but I actually won it in a bet. Funny, huh? How? There was this jerk who used to run the place. Uh, it used to hassle me all the time for, you know. I told him I'd sleep with him if he won the fight by myself in the pit. By himself in the pit. If he lost, I get the bar. That's risky. Why would he do that? Plus, he's strong, man. How many career choices down here? I'd make a terrible pit fiend. <laughs> uh, I really needed a way to out. And he was a jerk and I wanted to get rid of him. So did his customers, come to think of it. So tell me how you won, then. Hey, you're spoiling the ending. Okay, so he accepted the bet, 
said he could beat anyone or anything I threw at him. Uh, so I went out with a net and I dropped a gas bag in there with him. Oh, I guess that was the, uh, uh, the floating ones that explode. Oh, it was technically a draw, of course, <laughs> but he wasn't alive to complain about it. And the pit staff, uh, thought it was the best show they'd ever seen. So I kept the place. Yay, the end. I mean, I never play cards with you. I'll probably move at some point. Maybe take up as a tour guide. That could be fun. But for now, this place is mine. And no one is taking it from me. Thanks for the story. No problem. What I'm here for. Something else you need? Ooh. Yawning. Okay. Let's leave. I guess she didn't have any work to give me. But that's fine. Now, is there any way I can pass the time? If I just talk to you again, have any work for me? Uh, I already went through all this. Okay, I guess I have to go now. I thought there would be like some little thing to pass the time or something, but... Yeah, and I can't bet again, that sucks. Okay, cool. Terminus cleared. The city. I emerge from the tunnels expecting to see the light of day. Instead, I am greeted by a red twilight under a raging sky. My Geiger counter almost immediately began ticking as I left the shelter of the subway. I would have stayed undercover if I was to avoid the worst of it. I would have to stay undercover. I could see the tower, so close I could almost touch it. If it were only so easy. Oh, look, we got our new gun with a silencer. Looks sick as hell. It's cool, and now we got... a rifle. That is very much... Oh, it's a fucking one-tap. Okay. Oh, it's all the way on seven. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it there. Done a ton of reading. But uh, next episode is definitely going to get some fun stuff. I'll see you in the next one.